Amazing. All our transfer dreams are about to come true. The bomb of the day, Lawrence Shankland wants a move to Rangers. We also have Rangers one step away from signing an Arsenal defender, and our sixth signing confirmed. Rangers are also close to finalizing a deal with a Norwich monster and important updates on Ridvan Yilmaz. So, let's start with him. Rangers will face competition from England and Europe if they decide to move for Ryle Walters, according to the Daily Record. After the right-back's release by Arsenal was confirmed, the outlet reported on 1st of July that Walters has a string of interest from clubs south of the border and on the continent, with the light blues also showing interest. Signing Walters would require a compensation fee of around $350,000. The record previously reported on 4 June that Rangers were not inclined to make this move unless a player in that position left the club. However, with speculation surrounding James Tavernier's potential departure, this situation could change. If Tavernier leaves, it would present an opportunity for Rangers to strike a deal for Walters, who is 19. If Philippe Clement wants a new right back, the chance to push for Walters is now available, but with extensive rival interest, the opportunity might not last long. It remains to be seen whether a deal for Tavernier will be worked out. He is said to have agreed personal terms already, according to the Gallant Few podcast on 19th June. However, waiting for the 32-year-old's future to be resolved could result in Walters being snapped up elsewhere. Having missed out on Johnson, it would be a double disappointment for Rangers to see the teenager head elsewhere especially if the club ends up needing a right back later in the transfer window. Rangers have agreed to a £1.7 million fee for their sixth summer signing, and the deal is just hours away from being completed. The signings have been coming thick and fast this summer, starting with Jeff De Vital, followed by Clinton and Ziala, the returning Oscar Cortez, Connor Barron, and Liam Kelly. Now Rangers are on the brink of securing another addition to bolster their squad. This time, the signing will be more typical of the Philippe Clement and Niels Koppen-led recruitment drive. Rangers have been looking further afield for bargain additions, and Foot Mercado believes that a £1.7 million deal to bring in forward Hamza Igamani from Morocco is about to be completed. Rangers moved to the front of the queue for Igamani's signature towards the end of June. With an agreement sealed and Igamani receiving the requisite paperwork ahead of his trip to Scotland, we might soon see the skillful 21-year-old donning Rangers blue. Foot Mercado reports, Hamza Igamani will sign for Glasgow Rangers. The U23 international striker from Far Rabat has reached an agreement with the Scottish club and has been issued a visa essential for his transfer to Scotland. The Moroccan club Far will receive 2 million euros plus bonuses for this transfer, which will be made official in the coming hours. Igamane may not be the most prolific of center forwards, having scored only seven goals in 23 RF Rabat games last season. However, his tally of six assists shows that he is more than just a penalty box poacher. An impressive physical specimen who excels with his back to goal, Igamane is as much a creator as he is a goal scorer in the final third. Still, better numbers will be expected at a club with ambitions of Scottish Premiership glory. I believe Hamza will succeed in Scotland, compatriot and former Hibernian midfielder Meruan Zamama told the Scottish Sun. He's a player who is going to be ideal for the style of football. I genuinely think he will do well there. Hamza is a big, strong guy who will be ready for the physical side of football that exists in Scotland. That won't worry him at all. He has good technique for a striker. But he's a powerful boy and he'll actually be looking forward to testing himself against the kind of hard defenders that you have in Scotland. I'm excited to see how he's going to do. I always watch the results in Scotland because I had good years of my playing career there. I'll definitely be keeping a very close eye on Rangers in the new season. Kenny McLean's move to Rangers is reportedly well underway, according to Johnny McFarlane from Rangers Review. On the morning briefing on 1st July, McFarlane mentioned that a transfer for the Norwich captain is in the post and that McLean is expected at Rangers next season. The Daily Record on 24 June also reported that the Light Blues are interested in signing the midfielder, who is a Rangers fan, contingent on offering him a long-term deal. McFarlane admitted that the 32-year-old would be an excellent addition to the Rangers side. However, he was surprised at how quickly things were progressing, considering McLean's age, potential price tag, importance to Norwich, and lack of resale value. McFarlane said, 
All the soundings I'm hearing are that this is a deal that's in the post, that things are moving along nicely, that Kenny McLean is someone we'll expect to see at Rangers. He added, I'm quite surprised at that because he's the captain of Norwich. He was the player of the year last year. I've got a couple pals who are big Norwich supporters. They rave about him. You know his numbers in the championship have been doing the rounds. He was a monster in that league in terms of winning balls for them. Philippe Clement looks set to add this veteran to Rangers midfield, alongside the newly signed Connor Barron. On the surface, a deal to sign a 32-year-old international who remains a key man for Norwich doesn't seem like a typical summer move for Clement and Niels Koppen. If McLean gets the chance to join Rangers, it suggests that either the Rangers hierarchy is pushing the boat out or Norwich is being unexpectedly accommodating. There is a relationship between Rangers and Norwich following the signings of Todd Cantwell and Kieran Dowell in the past two transfer windows. However, it would still be surprising for Norwich to sanction the exit of their skipper for anything less than a significant fee after a campaign where he made 52 appearances, with 21-year-old Connor Barron already snapped up after leaving Aberdeen. Adding McLean to replace Ryan Jack and John Lundstrom would be a solid move. McLean, a current full Scottish international, alongside Barron, a likely future international, would bring a lot of quality to the Rangers' midfield. Ridvan Yilmaz, ever since leaving Turkey for Rangers in 2022, has been frequently linked with a move away from the club. Initially, there was interest from Galatasaray, which culminated in transfer bids in January before Yilmaz became an influential player for Rangers. However, injuries have plagued his time in Scotland, cutting short his impact at key moments. There have been rumors of a potential return to Besiktas, now managed by ex-Rangers boss Giovanni van Bronckhorst, but Yilmaz's agents have shot down the possibility of him moving back to Turkish football. Now, Turkish journalist Guxel has claimed that Yilmaz is drawing interest from two Bundesliga clubs, St. Pauli and Holstein Kiel, who are set to play in the German top flight next season. This speculation has sparked talk of a possible bidding war in Germany for the 23-year-old's services. The account reporting this news, Rai Tengoki, is regarded as a reliable source for updates on Turkish players abroad and has a significant following, including reputable journalist Yagiz Sabunkoglu. While we wait to see if anything more concrete comes of this, it's clear that things could have gone differently for Yilmaz at Rangers. Initially struggling to settle after his £5 million switch from Besiktas Injuries have significantly impacted his ability to make a consistent impact in Glasgow. Despite these challenges, Yilmaz's talent is undeniable, and if Philippe Clement can harness it, Rangers could have an effective option at left-back. Heading into next season, there is some uncertainty at the left-back position for Rangers. If Yilmaz does move on, it will be crucial for the club to find a solid replacement to ensure stability in the squad. All right, let's get into the latest transfer news involving Lawrence Shankland and Rangers. Lawrence Shankland remains a transfer option for Rangers, but the club is reluctant to pay a high fee for him this summer, according to the Scottish Daily Mail. The Heart star reportedly wants the move and would jump at the chance to sign for Rangers. However, with only a year left on his contract, Rangers are hesitant to shell out a significant fee for someone they could potentially sign for free in a year's time. There is still the possibility of Rangers and Hearts working out a compromise fee, but that is deemed unlikely at this stage. The logic in not wanting to overspend on a player who could be available for nothing soon makes sense, especially since Shankland is 28 years old and would have little to no resale value. However, this thinking was likely the same in January when Hearts were willing to hold out for a record-breaking fee. Ali McCoist, a former Rangers goal-scoring legend, suggested that a move for Shankland at that stage could have seen the Scottish Premiership title head to Rangers. So Philippe Clement and Niels Koppen could be risking another season without a league trophy by looking elsewhere again. If Danilo can return from injury and hit the ground running, and if the incoming Hamza Igamani proves to be the supreme talent he's tipped to be, then the risk may pay off. But there aren't many proven goal scorers in Scottish football right now. Shankland has scored 59 goals for Hearts in all competitions over the past two campaigns. If the Scotland international himself wants the move, it looks like a significant opportunity for Rangers. Money has been made available to spend this summer by John Bennett, 
and if the club is interested in moves for players like Albion Romani, which won't be cheap, then perhaps the safer option would be to push to work something out with Hearts. Of course, Hearts won't want to lose their captain and talisman, but with only 12 months left on his contract after multiple extensions were rejected, they will know it's possibly now or never from their end too. They can at least work out a replacement now, which is far harder in the winter window. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this update, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more exclusive Rangers news. Catch you next time.